Have you ever heard this word before? Schooners come. If you haven't, this sentence is a Nigerian way of saying education is a scam. This is our pidgin English. Nigerians are a very interesting bunch of people and there are many things that we're being known for. This one I'm not trying to sound arrogant, but I mean many. In music, we've given the world people like Rema, Bonaboy, Tiwa Savage, David Do, Whiskey, Thames, among others. In sports, we've produced people like Toby Amusa, JJ Okocha, Kad Mwako, Victor Boniface, and even Bukayo Saka. It's an fan that I am. Let's not even talk about movies, comedies, and our food that is getting worldwide appeal nowadays. In addition to all that I've mentioned earlier, we also tend to produce and spread very popular trends and catchphrases. And one of them is this one school has come but there's a reason why it's this popular for a country like nigeria with serious challenges this makes sense to a lot of young people who after going to school cannot even get jobs and as such have to turn back to do other things outside what they learned in school to be able to survive you will see someone who studied computer science working as a banker and I don't mean in the IT department. Dr. Seed, a popular Nigerian musician, is a dentist. Faust, another musician, is a lawyer. And Kate Henshaw, an actress, is a medical microbiologist. The list goes on. But before I go further, that computer scientist that I earlier mentioned, who is a banker, is my biological brother. But this problem isn't just restricted to Nigeria, and that's why it resounds with everybody. In the US, more than 1.3 million students drop out of high school every year for various reasons, and the most popular is that school isn't worth it. But as the title of the video suggests, I am here as a doctor to let you know that school has come isn't entirely true. It's been shown to be beneficial. Yes, it is. And I'm here to give you the health benefits of education. In fact, this video will likely motivate you to go as far as possible in your educational pursuit. The first benefit is the longer you study, the better for your health. Studies have shown that individuals with at least 17 years of education have a 93% lower mortality rate compared to those with 11 years of education or fewer, particularly for preventable causes of death like lung cancer and accidents. The second reason is they are less likely to smoke. The likelihood of smoking decreases with higher education levels, with 35% of non-high school graduates being smokers compared to 13% of college graduates. Smoking has been linked to a lot of diseases, which will be a video for another day, and many countries are setting up measures to discourage smoking among their younger citizens. This finding supports the fact that higher education reduces exposure to economic and occupational stressors, which can negatively impact both physical and psychological health. The third benefit is they are less likely to be sick. Education is linked with a lower prevalence of illnesses such as heart conditions, hypertension, diabetes, and asthma. An additional four years of education is associated with a 2.16% reduced risk of heart diseases and a 1.3% reduced risk of diabetes. Then the next benefit is better mental health status. Lower education attainment correlates with an increased prevalence of mental health disorders like depression and anxiety. Childhood educational attainment also impacts adult mental health status with childhood test scores predicting poor adult outcomes. That is because schools provide a structured environment that promotes learning and personal growth. By challenging themselves academically, students can improve their problem-solving skills, critical thinking abilities, and overall cognitive function, which positively impacts their mental health and coping skills. In addition to that, many schools often have resources in place to support students' mental health needs. These professionals can provide guidance and assistance to help students thrive in all aspects of their lives. Furthermore, attending schools allow students to socialize and build relationships with their peers. Social connections are crucial for mental well-being and help reduce feelings of loneliness and isolation. The next benefit is graduates tend to live a healthier lifestyle overall. Higher educational levels are associated with healthier eating habits, with households with higher education levels purchasing food products closer to their National Food and Drug Administrative Body's recommendations. Regular exercise is also more common among college graduates compared to those with less education. We move to the next benefit, which is better health coverage. Individuals with higher education are more likely to have health insurance, and that's because they can secure jobs that have health insurance coverage, which facilitates access to healthcare services and positive health outcomes. Irrespective of our personal experiences, the truth is that globally, educated individuals tend to have access to higher paying jobs, better career prospects, and increased job security. On the flip side, 
the uneducated often find themselves limited to low-skilled, low-wage employment, perpetuating a cycle of financial instability. There are only a few uneducated people that have more money than the educated ones, except those working in countries where things are not working well. So, the next time you're heading to school, remember that you've not just invested in your education, you've invested in your overall health. You will more likely make more money and live longer to enjoy that money that you've made. Thank you for watching. I hope I've been able to convince you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Thank you and I'm going to see my next video.